<laughs> happy to be here. Happy to be here. Almost did not reach here today. Came in the rashest auto in the world. <laughs> Holy shit. That guy was driving like he had nothing to lose. <laughs> there were like 20 cars on the road. He almost hit all of them. <laughs> he, he, I swear, he went so close to a bus, I had to buy a ticket. All right, now. <laughs> Come on. And I knew this guy was crazy from the start because I booked the auto. He was five minutes away. So I thought, you know what, I'll pee and come. But before the first drop hit the ceramic, this guy arrived. And he called me. He's like, where are you? I'm like, I'm at home. He's like, come to the location. And he cut the call. And I was like, who booked whom? <laughs> but I don't know how to drive, so I have to travel around in autos. You know, I love autos. Love autos. Favorite mode of transport. Love autos. I think autos love me too. Because every time I get out of an auto, the seat tries to come with me. <laughs> every time. I'm a passenger, but my ass is a paperweight for that seat, man. Why do they never stick the seats? It's always just kept there. On faith. It's like they were making the auto like, hmm, how do we stick this? Ah. It's the other side, don't worry. <laughs> I don't want everyone to go back in an auto standing. <laughs> I'm ready. I don't know how to drive, man. It leaves no options, you know. The only thing I can drive is like a Yulu bike. That's all. You, you've seen those, right? The Yulu bikes. You seen it? Yeah. You know, it, it looks like two PVC pipes <laughs> stuck together on... Uh, the wheels are five rupee coins. <laughs> That's it. It's really big in Bangalore. People are riding that in Bangalore in the middle of the road with no shame, like backbone straight. They're like... <laughs> the first time I saw Yulu, I thought it was something you get free with Bone Vita. <laughs> it's like a toy. <laughs> you know, legally, you don't need a driving license. You don't even need a helmet to drive a Yulu, you know that? Because the maximum speed of a Yulu is like 25 kilometers per day, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Once I saw a Yulu going at 50 km per hour, and I was like, whoa! And then I saw a car hit into it. I was like, no. That's one way. Because everyone wants to hit a Yulu, man. <laughs> it looks like something if you hit, you get like bonus points, <laughs> right? Just... No, I was coming in an auto once, and he almost hit a Yulu. And I was like, dude, what the hell? He was like, sorry, just miss. <laughs> Next time, I'll focus. Yeah, man, just, I have enough stress in my life, man. I'm like, I'm just stressed all the time. I'm very nervous. I bite my nails all the time. You know what really helped me out of this, though? Yoga. Yeah, did yoga for two months. Completely de-stressed. Because now I bite my toenails, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The trainer keeps saying, oh, you can feel your stress going. Like, what? I can taste it. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it's my nail. <laughs> I know, man. I'm all, it's just like, you know, I, I do nothing all day. I just like, I'm on my phone all the time. That's it. Today, whole day on the phone. My screen time has gone from four hours a day to a day. <laughs> it is just all the time. But it's good because everybody is addicted to the phone, right? It's impossible to have a conversation without the phone. That, yesterday, I was having a, friend, a conversation with a friend yesterday, outside, offline. Great conversation. In the middle of the conversation, this guy got a to do do on his phone. Gone! Tuck, 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 tuck. Ignored. He put me on airplane mode, man. Just... <laughs> and I was just standing there. I didn't know what to do. So I texted him, hi. <laughs> and he replied to that. He was like, hey, I'm with a friend. I'll talk to you later. Now, I'm on the phone all the time, man. I, my favorite thing to watch are these uh, DIY videos. You've seen those? Do-it-yourself videos. Yeah. Where you take something you don't need and you make something else. And you're like, wow. <laughs> I don't need this either. <laughs> I needed that more. Can I DIY back? I love those videos. Do it yourself. I don't do it. I just watch it. Doing is tough. And these videos are getting crazy. I saw this video recently. It was a convert your old clock into a mug in five minutes. The video was eight minutes long, but that's all right. I started the video. For this DIY, you need industrial standard glue, a titanium screwdriver, a pen soldering iron. What am I, living in a mech lab? Dude, I, I have none of these. 
Who is the target audience of this video? Someone who has a soldering iron, but not a mug. You go to his house, you ask for coffee. He's like, oh yeah, five minutes. The coffee's ready. I have to make the mug. <laughs> Let me just boil some clocks and come back. <laughs> but I'm not going to give up, right? That's so dumb, right, that line. <laughs> I like, these guys are my friends. Everyone else is like, why would you boil clocks with these guys? But I went, I'm not gonna give up, right? So I went on Amazon, industrial standard glue, titanium screwdriver, pen soldering iron, added to cart, and a message popped up. People who ordered these three items also ordered a mug a week later. <laughs> I gave up, I just bought the mug. I have no shame in admitting that. See, I don't want to come across as the guy who doesn't know how to DIY, all right? I have skills. I'll give you an example. Last week, I was drying my clothes on the terrace and I was shot of one clip. So I used my pulse oximeter to clip my boxers. <laughs> right? Where's my Nobel Prize? <laughs> I mean, it's not a great DIY because the oximeter doesn't work anymore. Every time I clip it on my finger, it says, I trusted you. <laughs> like, Sorry, oxy on the phone all the time, man. It's not my fault today. Like half of the time, I'm just like dealing with these credit card calls, man. Just, I got three calls today. Like, how do you get that to stop? Like a no doesn't work because these ladies somehow don't understand consent. <laughs> sir, do you want a credit card? I'm like, no. She's like, don't be shy, sir. <laughs> You like it. <laughs> no means no. <laughs> Cut the call, block the number. Next day she calls from a different number with a slightly different voice like, hello, you want a credit card? Is this you from yesterday? <laughs> right answer, you want a prize? <laughs> oh, what? A credit card. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get that to stop. You know what? Has anyone taken a credit card like that through one of those cold calls? I don't think so. Because I tried saying yes once and they had no idea how to react. <laughs> Out of the script. <laughs> sir, do you want a credit card? I was like, yes. Like, what? Really? Why, sir? <laughs> beep, beep. But these guys, man, these banks are relentless, man. They do just... They have different ways to get you to get that card. They just like invent different techniques. I don't know, there's a new technique. I don't know if you guys have noticed this. Nowadays, you get a credit card call, you pick it up, it starts ringing. And then they pick up and say hello. <laughs> As if I call them. <laughs> it's like flip the equation. I pick up, they say hello. I'm like, uh, uh, hi, I'm customer. <laughs> Do I want a card? Nowadays, whenever that happens, I get so angry, I flip it right back, man. They pick up and say hello, I go trrr, trrr. <laughs> Hello? Now they think they got a credit card call. They are angry in the call center. They're like, guys, can we stop calling each other now? Huh? <laughs> you guys are fun, man. I like you guys. You guys are fun. You guys are coming out for stand-up. That's a lot, a lot. Very fortunate. We're all fortunate, right? Not, not a lot of people are this fortunate. You know, a lot of people are having long-term effects of COVID even now. You know, my, my, my friend is going through a tough time. He called me up the other day. He was like, Gautam, I'm going through a tough time. I'm suffering from an illness. I'm addicted to masturbation. Because he's staying alone, right? <laughs> and I was like, bro, don't worry about it. I'm a smoker. I understand addiction, all right? You're strong. You're very strong. And he said, yeah, say that again, baby. <laughs> and I was like, no, come on, man. <laughs> Friendship is tough, guys. 